Hello there. Are you in that season between Pesach and Shavuot? Are you in that time when we're supposed to be counting the Omer? Well, if you are, you're probably a little curious about, you know, the counting or how we can make counting more interesting. There's all sorts of counters that you can do from coloring pages to sliding beans on pipe cleaners. I may or may not have some of those to show you at the end. However, one of my favorite is of course the edible Omer counter. Super straightforward to do. All you need is a treat of your choice. I have chosen chocolate chips, but you may have other favorite things like leftover meatloaf or Smarties or celery, whatever makes you happy. Perfect treat for you. And then you're gonna need two jars. In theory, you could even do this with one jar, but it's nice to have the visual of one going into the other. So we're gonna start with my big jar. And for the 49 to 50 days of the Omer, I'm going to put 49 beautiful chocolate chips in my jar. But now I have to count. So as I'm filming this, we have made it to day 14 of the Omer. Oh no, I have the wrong number in my still left to count jar. So I have to move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Clean up any mess you make. And now here's the fun part. I can eat the ones that I have transferred over or I can wait to the very end to eat them or I could just eat one every day. Honestly, it's up to you. There's so many ways that you can do this. Now there's other ways you can do it too if you're not a fan of having things that disappear very quickly like <laughs> snacks. You can also make a more permanent Omer counter. This is one I made a few years ago actually with Machana Shabbat. I tied pipe cleaners in the back through holes I poked in cardboard and I drew a picture of the story from Passover to Shavuot. So the leaving of Mitzrayim, going through the parting of the Sea of Reeds, and all the way up to receiving a covenant with God on Mount Sinai. So that's one way you can do it. There's also the tried, tested, and true coloring method. So uh, this is a coloring page that I got from jewishmomsandcrafters.com. It's a pay-what-you-can donation for the PDFs. So honestly, you can pay a little, as little as a dollar to get some beautiful stuff to support some artists and to have some fun activities to do. Um, but this one, I haven't actually started coloring yet, so why don't you guys color it with me? I have a feeling you want to. Let's do it. That's all I get to color for now. Let's move on to that final Omer counter. Nine. And for anybody looking for a way to count the Omer that has a little more hands-on brachot and maybe some daily meditations, you should definitely check some, check out some of the apps available on various devices. This one is actually called the Omer counting app that I have for my iPad. And you can see on the side here, it has today's counting with the bracha, the blessing already for me. I can keep track of what I have counted. Um, I can even practice the prayer in English transliteration or in Hebrew. It can set an alarm to tell me when to do things and it will even give me daily meditations to think about for wherever we are in the counting of the Omer. And it will tell you uh, where the source for that meditation was. And it can even delve a little deeper into some Kabbalah or into different sects of Judaism, however you wanna go about it. Well, that's three, four different types of Omer counters for you to consider. Whether you're counting on your fingers or making a cool treat or using a thoughtful app, I do hope you enjoy this Omer season. Thank you so much for watching. Lahitra Ode.